Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Kenshi. We are Squint the Thief. We have been imprisoned by a squad of cannibals, a large squad of cannibals. And this is going to be really problematic. Oh, um, no, we are still uh, unconscious. We are in a recovery coma, as is Bone Dog. Bone Dog is not only in a recovery coma, Bone Dog is also pretty wounded and bleeding, which is not great. Uh, his chest, especially. Uh, is bad. His head has been bandaged to an extent, but he's still bleeding out. It's he's not in good shape. We really need to get to him and or her. Why not her? I think Bone Dog's gonna be a her. And uh and rescue her and bandage her up. I probably said him for six episodes now, but what are you gonna do? Um Bone Dog can be whatever we want Bone Dog to be. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take for us to get out of this recovery coma. We have been all bandaged up by the cannibals, I should mention. They did heal me up, I guess, so that my body will heal um, and I will be tastier that way. Uh, the outlaw swordsman is in here and is hurt, uh, wounded. You did not get bandaged up for some reason. Nice hat. I would love to have you on my side. Are there any other prisoners since we're here? None that I can see. Uh, our hope is, I think our only hope, is that we might be able to wait until nightfall. Wait until these cannibals are asleep. Oh, there are more uh, cells over here. And just run away while they're sleeping. But I don't know what kind of guard schedule they have, if anything like that. I guess we'll see. I think... Uh, are we getting close to sunset? I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I'll also look at myself. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm up. The sun is setting. Squint is awake. I... Can I start picking this lock? Escape. Well, are they going to get mad at me? If I pick the lock, will they know I picked it? I mean, what can they do? I guess they could just kill me. Hopefully they don't see me doing this here. Uh, also, can I like sneak while I'm doing this? Yes, but they do see me. But still, if it if it helps increase my sneak skill at all, which maybe, or stealth skill, which I guess it's not. But my lock picking should be going up. Oh yeah, it's going up a lot. Of course I am only level one lock picking. I don't know if I should stop doing this when they get near me. But I do just need to increase my lockpicking skill. Okay, uh, maybe I see someone coming up. Maybe stop lockpicking for a sec. Um, squint. Can you do that? Can you just stop? Can I tell you to stop? Don't pick locks. All right. I just had to try something else. Don't mind me. Bone Dog, how are you doing? You're still in a recovery coma. You might not get out of that. I don't know. Oh, so many cannibals. Everywhere. I mean, this is a cannibal village, right? Yes, cannibal village. And now specifically says cannibal village. Hmm. It's a tiny little cannibal village with a lot of people in it. A lot of cannibals in this cannibal village. They don't, they're not very diplomatic, this little cannibal society. Um, I don't know if there's anything in here be a value anything anywhere I'm trying to look for like stuff on the ground uh, but not seeing anything but maybe I'm just not close enough all right there's our guard all right let's try this again All right, so our lockpick chances continue to slowly go up as we wait for sunset, and we'll keep out for people getting too close to us, like these folks here. I might try... Okay. I'm just going to say use tools just to reset it. I don't know if there's a better way to reset what you're doing. But I don't want these guys to explicitly spot me picking the lock. I don't know if they can. I might be able to just keep doing it until I succeed, but I don't want to die. And I feel like they could just kill me if they see me doing that. 
Um, stay away from me. I don't have any tools, by the way. Oh, nope. Not yet. Okay. Try to keep an eye on them. I think these must be like the patrol. Lock picking up to level two. It's still, I mean, it's twice as good as it was before. We do get a bonus, I believe, to... Uh-oh. Uh All right. Stop it. To our lock picking, I think a 20% bonus. Uh, like a racial bonus to that. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking of like dexterity. Racial XP bonus. Yeah, so we don't actually have one of lock picking. We have one of stealth, not lock picking. Uh okay. Alright. It is getting dark. Which is very good. Um Okay, yeah, you're not paying attention to me right now. Go to sleep. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna fail a lot here. This is a pretty tough lock. Hopefully we can do this all night. What is that noise? Bone dog still in a recovery coma. Oh, look at that. Are they chasing? Are they giving chase to something? What are they all doing? They're all malnourished. Wouldn't it be great if they all just starved to death while we were here? I mean, I'm food for them. Uh, all right, come on. We can do this. Lock picking is three. I mean, if we have over 10% chance of doing this, then we should only need to try this about 10 times before we succeed. I think we've already done it a bunch more than that. I think the patrols have stopped. Or everyone's paying attention to other stuff. People are still all sitting around that campfire. Bone dog, how you doing? Still in a recovery coma, and uh, your chest is getting worse. Pick failed. Maybe chance doesn't mean what I think it means, but I think it should be a straightforward thing. Yeah, the patrols have kind of stopped here, which is very good. I think I'm going to have to, if it takes this time, this much time to pick the lock, I think I'm going to have to leave that outlaw swordsman and go after Bone Dog. we got to take care of our own first. Man. Did you pick this lock? I kind of don't want to increase the speed because as soon as I'm able to unlock it, I'll need to get out of here. Go on. Okay. Lock picking skill. Is that a five now? Much better. And I am successfully sneaking. In fact, I should be... Uh, <gasps> success. Um, stealthing up a little bit here, although I don't think I am. Okay, pick success. This is... Very good. Set free. Setting myself free. Escape. Okay. All right. Got to look around. Bone dog is over there. I'm tempted to try to... Hold on. How's bone dog doing? Pretty bad. We'll try this once. Maybe we'll get lucky. Thank you. All right, maybe, maybe we'll try a few times. I do want to make sure I get to Bone Dog in time. Stop talking, Outlaw. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Can I talk to you? <laughs> no. Can I first... I'll first aid you. Should I? Actually, maybe you'll be a good diversion... Auto saved. Um, you are bleeding. How many? All right, I have a lot of kits. Let's first aid you if I can. I wish this person would stealth. Yeah, let's get out of here. I agree. I'm just going to heal you up real quick. 
Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm going to zoom out so I can hopefully spot any cannibals. We are. It is night. It is dark. So this is good. So this person's following me, even though they're not part of my squad. All right. Bone Dog. I think we should be able to get to Bone Dog before Bone Dog dies. I don't think I'm not too concerned about that. As long as there are no cannibals near Bone Dog. All right, we're staying stealthed. I don't see anyone over here. But of course, we didn't see anyone when we got ambushed either. Oh, dear. Who are you? Hungry, scrawny cannibal. All right, stay back. Uh-oh. 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 All right, we're spotted here. Okay. I think we have to fight it. I can try to stealth KO. Actually, if I'm stealthed right now, all right, he's fighting it. I will try to stealth KO. Okay, I can't do that anymore, but I will help out. Um, hoping he'll help us too. Come on, swordsman, help us out. Help us, swordsman. Swordsman, seriously, what? what's your problem? Help out. Oh, we should be able to do this. Uh, come on, as long as no other cannibals come at us. Squint, come on. Nice, nice uh, blocking, ouch. Squint, you got this. Ah, uh, where is this swordsman doing? Help us out. All right, come on. Come on, squint. Uh, all right, we're, we're not doing that great here. All right, good dodging. I thought this would be 2v, 2v1. All right, you're bleeding. Good job, squint. No. Okay, fine. Good blocking. What is this swordsman doing? All right, come on, squint. Do it. Ah. Oh. We're still okay. We're slightly injured, but we have the higher ground. And anyone who's watched Star Wars Episode Three knows that that's the most important thing. Oh, gosh. All right, we hit you again. Would you please die? Like, you're do you're in worse shape than we are. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. All right, come on, swordsman. Now we need your help. Now you're, now you're helping us. I don't know why you weren't helping us before when it would have been 2v1. Um, okay, interesting ragdoll. We're unconscious, but if our swordsman helps us... If our swordsman wins this fight, which he should. Oh, Bone Dog is up. In critical condition, but awake. I think. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I really need to get to you. Swordsman, help. Swordsman. Wait, where'd the swordsman go? Did the swordsman abandon us? Where's the swordsman? Really? I mean, I guess the swordsman was looking out for himself. Let us take the fight, and then when he had to intervene, but it's not even healing us. Can't even return the favor of healing us. Oh, I really don't want Bone Dog to die. I guess we should have abandoned. We should have let the swordsman fight the fight the thing. We shouldn't have tried to help out. I just thought we'd be able to double team the cannibal really fast. That stinks. Really stinks. Um, that is not our bone dog. That's just a regular wounded bone dog. Okay. All right, 60 seconds. I don't really want to fast forward it. I'm really worried that bone dog's going to die. Oh, the bone dog's still yellow and not red. I don't know what exactly what that means. You will die at what? At what? A negative what? Oh, below negative 
30. Oh, uh, that's a, I, but you won't die at negative 30, I don't think. You just can't heal yourself if you're at negative 30. But you're a dog. You can't heal yourself anyway. Okay. We're going to wake up. We're going to heal ourselves. We're going to hopefully not be attacked by that bone dog. We will sneak. Okay. And slightly injured. And first aid. Oh, are you serious? Oh, that's the swordsman. You're our friend. I don't know what you were doing over there. Staying low. Yeah, heal yourself. Okay. At least we still have our friends, sort of, and at least he can, like, block people's shots from us. All right, we got to go get Bone Dog ASAP. I do have to stay stealthed. I'm not going to worry about healing the swordsman now. I want to go get Bone Dog. Oh, we're slow. <sighs> I'm a little bit encumbered. At least I'm not hungry. All right. Um, dying. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, your chest is bad. I wish I could order the guy around. I could unsneak to get there faster. Um, they might spot me, though, if I do that. That would be a bad idea. Better Squint lives and Bone Dog dies than Squint gets captured again, because then Bone Dog has no chance. It is night. They didn't see me fighting. You know what? Unsneak. And. Heal Bone Dog up. Okay, let's see if they chase. I am going as fast as possible, which is pretty slow. Trying my best to get to you, man. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not negative 50. Hopefully, it's negative 100 that kills you. We're trying. Okay, you're still alive. We're trying. You're so far away, and we're so slow. Where is her movement? Yeah, our leg is pretty damaged. Okay, the swordsman is running away. It might mean that you've spotted someone and are going to fight it. I don't know, but you're done with us. Uh, you're running back to where the cannibals are, though, so I have a feeling you're not going to make it. I'm going <laughs> to just keep an eye on what the, what happens here. If you just start, like, getting attacked. I don't regret um, releasing you. In fact, if we hadn't, we might not have been able to beat that one cannibal, ultimately. Because I think that you did kill that cannibal wherever it is now. I don't know where that dead cannibal is. All right, we're getting closer. Still got to keep an eye out for cannibals. Bone Dog is doing very poorly. Come on, Squint. All right. We'll speed things up a bit. And keep the camera zoomed out. Squint's got some blood on her head. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay. All right. Day. Uh, it's going to be daylight, which is pretty bad. Oh, no. Oh, that is so sad. Right as we were finally approaching. Oh. Look at us. Look at us mourn. Bone dog, no. Poor bone dog. <sighs> we'll remember you always. That makes me very sad. Very, very sad. 
We would have healed you. We should not. We clearly we should not have. Um, we'll skin you also. Uh, we should not have. Um, fought that cannibal. If we hadn't have fought that cannibal and just run by and let the swordsman deal with it, we definitely could have gotten Bone Dog in time. We just barely didn't get to Bone Dog in time. And that's super, super sad. I'm really bummed about that. Um, but we are alive. We are somehow surprisingly still alive. We've lost Bone Dog. Um, we'll still keep the name of the series, A Thief and Her Dog. Maybe we can get another dog at some point. I don't know how that works. I am pretty bummed. Uh, we'll continue going north, maybe over here, and sneaking. But without Bone Dog... I'm not sure how much longer this series is going to last. I'm really happy that we got out of prison. Um, but we are definitely much worse off now without our partner in, in life. Uh, so um, I enjoyed playing with you all today. Remember to leave your, um, your eulogies and comments of mourning in the, uh, in the comments. Oh, I think there goes the... Oh, no, it's a bone, that's another bone dog attacking the cannibals. That's fun. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.